Hello, it's Petra from Petra's Cauldron. Here we are again. I have been doing some homework and I have noticed, and I have to read it because um, <laughs> I forget stuff. <laughs> we have made it now for 75 subscribers and for that I'm very, very happy. I thank you all who have subscribed to my channel. It's so much appreciated. You guys have no idea. Uh, it makes me feel good that my word comes out and you guys learn to cook or just be amused by me and my funny English, German, whatever I'm speaking. So I'm happy for this. And I also have noticed that my chicken soup, the very first soup that I cooked, had 495 viewers. And that was four weeks ago. Now that is awesome. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for tuning in. But the best kicker is my lentil soup, my New Year's Eve ritual lentil soup. She came up with 659 views in only four days. Ha, ah, that is amazing. <laughs> you guys are absolutely awesome and I thank you for that, for coming in and learning how to cook all these beautiful soups. But that also made me think about it twice. That mm -hmm, people are in winter time now and here in Florida it's not that very cold at this. Today it's what, 74 or so, so it's pretty cool. But the other states, they have, I mean, really some very bad, nasty cold outside. When I see the news, you know, talking about um, Midwest and up north. They have freezing temperatures, snow blizzards, and who knows what. Who knows they who need that shit? I don't, I don't. That's why I live in Florida. But I can still bring you some warmth. And today I've been thinking I'm gonna make a nice green bean soup, just like my Oma made it. My mom cooked a lot of soups too, but my Oma made the best one. And my mom learned it from my Oma, so I learned it from my Oma straight from her and it's so delicious and today we are going to make a vegetarian soup or plant-based or whatever you want to call it it's no meat in it no meat but if you like meat you feel free and put your meat in it and what you put in you put something smoked in it or some knackwurst some bockwurst some um, um, yeah any type of um, smoked meats you can put some kassler in it you can have some some meat, you know, you have to cook for like two, three hours, but we can go with that on a different time. But for now, I really like to show you what we need. And that's not a whole lot we are needing. Now, listen, we are needing green beans. So I was smart. I cooked my green beans already and I put one carrot in it and I sliced it in little slices. Now, when you do your green beans, they come like this and they have endings here and here. I take the one off, you know, which is the end, you know, where the green bean is being connected to the vine. So I cut it off. And then I cut my green bean in three pieces. Depends, you know, how big your bite size is. I like to have it a little bit smaller. So I use it in about this. What is it? About an inch? Okay, an inch and a half. So that you can grab it easy with your fork. You know, it's easy. Then you need potatoes. I have cooked them too. So they're ready, set to go. And I also cut them in bite size, so that's easy, see? Then you need a big onion. Here we have the big onion, and you cut the onion also in bite size pieces. I try to say uniform in all the sizes, right? So, so we got that straightened out. Then you need garlic. Hello, of course, garlic. <laughs> There's nothing in this household is never being cooked without garlic, not happening. You will have some um, pepper and salt, and I put in some complete, and um, complete is um, it's um, oh, it, it's it's already a spice, you know, which is, has different type of spices in. It's easy, you know, it's fast. You don't have to worry about anything, but it brings a very nice taste to it. And then you need bone and kraut, and bone and kraut is in English savory, so you gotta have that, and um, you need a lot of it. And I show you how much. Let me take this off here, and I show you how much. See. It's about two tablespoons. That's what you need. So you put that in here into your soup. You gotta put all those spices in here. Dang. And then you're gonna put in your onions and your garlic. Hang on, here we go. And um, then we're gonna cook it again for about 10 minutes, 15 minutes on medium high. That way you know it's um, 
nicely and still al dente. You want to have it al dente. You don't want to have it all, all mushy. You know, you don't. You want to have it al dente. So wait and hang on. And now I have added about two cups of water to it. And I'm going to leave the potatoes out. Why? Because if you put now the potatoes in here, they will be overcooked and that is not a nice sight. So I leave it alone and I cook this here now for about 10 minutes till all that beautiful leckerness here is going to get al dente. And meanwhile, this, um, my onions are being cooked on my stove. Um, I like to thank you all for all the comments you have passed and left me. It was really, really nice and I thank you for that. I like you to like and subscribe. Please share my videos and make sure that other people get to see what I'm doing here too. Um, I really like to pass on old traditions. These are old German traditions by my grandma and my mom. That's how I grew up. And I learned how to cook starting out, I think it was six, six years old or something like that. And um, yeah, I have just fun doing it. It's my passion. I'm no chef cook. But, but I'm my own chef here in my house. <laughs> I prefer that you guys would let me some uh, comments about what you would like to see what I'm cooking for you next time. I mean, I cook every day and um, not every day I'm picking out my camera and I start showing what I'm doing. So, but maybe there will be another uh, video coming tonight later on. I don't know yet. I will see how it works out. But um, it would be cool if you would let me know what you are what you're craving, what do you want me to cook next time? Um, that's my cauldron, and um, like I said, I never know what's coming out of it, but I'm having a lot of fun, and I hope you guys have a lot of fun too. <laughs> At this point, I really would like to say thank you for my friend Holly. Holly, you are the best. You pushed me into this direction, and I cannot thank you enough. I think that was the best and greatest idea I ever had, so I, that is very cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you for that. I have to give her credit because without you, Holly, I wouldn't be here. I would not be making any type of videos, period. <laughs> so, yeah, that is cool. Um, what's next? Um, yeah, let's check on our soup and we'll see how that works, okay? Here we go. There she is. Cooking slowly in front of her, you know. Here. It looks already fantastic. And like I said, there's no meat in it at all. So that's completely meat free. Nothing but has ices in here, nothing. And the potatoes, they will be joining this beautiful festival in a bit. And um, for that, uh, we have to wait a little longer, okay? Now, I just picked up some stuff, what I'd like to show you. So if you're interested into eating some meat in it, um, this is a German brand, Frank's. They're called by Hoffmann. They're really, really good. So some German ladies and gentlemen I have here. So if you're looking for something really good, this is the brand you want. There's no MSG in it. There's all fully cooked, gluten-free, and there's no artificial flavors in it. That's a really good sausage. And the other one we bought is a, it's a garlic summer sausage, and we bought it at Rule King. Rule King is kind of like a wheat and feed store. You know, they have all kinds of stuff. Very cool store. I like it. And this is made by somebody and they sell it there. So that is really nice too. It's flavored and it is smoked. So if you like that, you can cut that in like little quarts or um, little cubes and then you put them in. This one here, you can cut them down in little slices or you keep them in just like it is in this length, you know, so it doesn't matter. It brings to the soup to a whole different level. Now everything has been cooking here, you can see that, so it's nicely. So my onions are all al dente. And now I'm going to start putting my potatoes in here. So it will be start forming up a little more because potatoes have starches. They go in here. And it makes the soup a little thicker, which I really like. So, see, now we let it all cook together for maybe 10 more minutes or so. Yeah, about 10 more minutes. And that is the point why I did not cook my potatoes with my green beans together right away. Why? Because they are having too much starches. Starches are not good for diabetic people. <clears throat> Since I'm pre-diabetic, I try to bleed my potatoes as much as I possibly can and I cook them separate if I cook a soup. 
That way I don't have the starches in it and it doesn't spike my blood sugar. So that is a very good part. I really like that. And there you have it, <laughs> green bean soup. As you can see, we have some carrots in here, our onions, our potatoes, lots of green beans, and it is so absolutely delicious. Now, German or European people, they like to eat their soups also with a little piece of bread. We call it Brötchens. And um, I didn't make them, Greg bought them. And um, yeah, that's what, we, that's what we like to eat. So now I'm gonna try to sample something and look how beautiful it is. I, mean, I like the skinny part. It's called the thin part, the skinny part. Mm, so delicious. <laughs> and now some green beans. Ay, ay, ay. Mmm, yummy. Mmm. This is just yummy. Look at this beautiful soup. If this soul food cannot warm you up, then I don't know. <laughs> so. That was a short video because it went fast. Everything can be prepared the night before. When you come home, you put it in, oh, something else. You can also put it into your slow cooker. Before you go to work, if you're going to work or whatever you have on a busy day or you don't want to do stuff too much, you can just prepare it. The prepare part is about maybe 10 minutes, if long. Then you dump everything into a slow cooker, cover it with some nice, um, you can have vegetable broth on it. You can have the bouillon on it if you like. You can put your um, your sausages in it if you like. But if you want to stay now vegetarian or vegan or whatever it's been called, the non-meat eaters, then this is what you do. You just don't put anything on it and it's just absolutely delicious. So I want you to make it. Tell me how you like it. I would like to have you to subscribe. It would help me a lot. If you see some value out of this video, please thumb up. And um, yeah, ring the little bell. That way you will be notified as soon as I bring a new video out, okay? I'd like to thank you guys all. Thank you for your subscription. And now I'm going to eat my beautiful soup. <laughs> See you later, alligator. Bye. Tschüss.